Today's Bible study is titled, But Faith Worketh by Love Which, in our last reading Paul left us with the conclusion that attempts at obeying any portion of the law made one a debtor to do the whole law, example, all 600 plus commands and not just the 10 commandments or circumcision. Therefore, Paul had very stern words concerning those that would attempt such living, but these words were between the bookends of, Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5.1 And for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith, Galatians 5 verse 5. We thus found that this clearly defines the hope of such as are saved by God's grace and thereby are incapable of losing what God accomplished by the faith of Jesus Christ and their simple belief by grace through faith in same. Today we continue. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Ye did run well, who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Galatians 5 verses 6 to 9. We'll look at verses 7 to 9 first, and then come back to verse 6. Regarding the Galatian believers' attempts at living under Mosaic law, Paul first notes that, based on his personal knowledge, they once did run well, in other words, they previously were walking and living in the same way as they received Christ. Colossians 2 verse 6. But with the influence of some, which we know to be Jewish kingdom gospel believers, they came to no longer obey the truth. And Paul asks, a rhetorical question, who did hinder you, example, hey, Galatians, just think about who it is that is causing you to no longer obey the truth as I delivered it to you? To put it more bluntly, regarding this influence to abandon grace living for attempted law living, Paul asserts of those that taught such that this persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. For we know from 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 24 Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it, which we know to be a prior assertion and teaching of Paul regarding grace living. Of these some who are disturbing you and want to distort the gospel of Christ, Galatians 1 verse 7, Paul thereafter states a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Essentially, this is Paul teaching that even a few engaged in such false teaching could spread through the entirety of the churches of Galatia and this was unacceptable. Now let's look back to the preface of verses 7 to 9, found in the content of verse 6. Paul shows clearly here that, regarding circumcision, or any attempted law living, for in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Here we see the results of grace living and something that attempted law living could not accomplish, namely faith which worketh by love. And living in simple belief by grace through faith is the only living that works under grace, resulting in the Holy Spirit's fruit of love. We will talk more about this in Galatians 5 verse 22. Believer, live in simple belief by grace through faith, the intent of Colossians 2 verse 6, and see that faith working in and by love in your life. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.
Thank you.